was tasting the morphine fix like secondhand smoke. Man, that feels so good. Anyway, my opposition is gonna lead out with Breloom. I go for the taunt right off the bat. Why else would you lead out with the Breloom unless you knew that you were Scarf? I mean, I'm sorry, Sash. And if you knew you stayed inside of the Alkazam, you think like, yo, I could put an Alkazam to sleep, baby, because I got the Sash, but that's not happening. I got the taunt. What you know about that taunt, Alakazam, son? Taunt offensive Alakazam. Get at me. Anyway, I'm just gonna switch out into my boy Wobbuffet because I know that since he didn't want to go for the taunt, he didn't want to let somebody take a psychic. I went for the focus blast, predicting him to bring in something that will resist the psychic. So, um, that didn't work because he brought in the gelatin, and afterwards, he's gonna be able to toxic off the gelatin. Me trying to force the gelatin out, I'm gonna bring in my boy Magnazone, and afterwards, switch out into Wobbuffet just to see what he decides to bring in. He brings in Don Fan, he goes for the self frost. I'm just gonna go for the safeguard because I know he didn't want to go right away and do an attacking move. So now I figured that since I didn't encore him right away, I thought that he would think that I was gonna encore now. Now, me thinking that, I go for the counter, predicting him to go for an attacking move this time, hence Earthquake. But he doesn't do that. So I know my boy Don Fan ain't just sitting here letting a brother die slowly from the lung cancer that he has that he took from the jealous. And are you kidding me? That is not happening right now. I'm gonna switch it to my boy Avino because Avino knows what to do about them chap lips. I'm gonna <laughs> encore him onto Rapids, but then afterwards, um, he's gonna be compelled to switch over. So I'm just gonna go for the Stone Edge, predicting the switch. Obviously, Stone Edge is resisted by the ground type Dawn fan. In comes Breloom, so I'm like, crap, man. I do have the Fire Punch. I could have actually went for the Fire Punch, but I was thinking more so the Dragonite, but it doesn't even matter because I score a critical hit and I'm able to take out the Breloom thanks to the Sandstorm. That is fucking amazing. Like, like, what? That's awesome. So I know my dude is probably destroyed by the critical hit that the Stone Edge scored on him just now, so he's going to make a hasty, irrational switch onto his Heatron when he could have actually brought in the Dawn fan. I'm gonna actually call his move right now. He's like, yo, I'm gonna snap out of confusion. I'm gonna bring my boy Don Fan in like I should have done the turn before. I'm gonna switch out into Wobbuffet just to see if he will catch on to his mistake. He does, and then Wobbuffet is gonna bite the dust because he's not gonna be able to outspeed since I have like the low priority counter and the miracle that I'm relying on. Since I'm not carrying the custard berry like I really should be at this point, I could probably take it out with the Destiny Barn, but that's not even the case. I'm bringing my boy Magnet Zone. Oh, you're bringing the Magnet Zone on the Don Fan. What are you doing? Doing. The whole point is me breaking the study ability and then afterwards trying to score a hit on the Jellison. Watch this. I'm gonna bring in my boy Tender Crew, right? So why would you bring in Tender Crew? I got the Don Fan, you know what I'm saying? I could bring in my boy Jellison, Sponge and Water hits like it's nothing. That is not happening because he is gonna stay in, which scares me. I'm like, holy shit, he lived, he could earthquake me. Now he goes to the rocks again. Him thinking that I was gonna go for the rapid spin, so that's amazing. I'm gonna do a two hit KO this clown with the Giga Drain as opposed to like. Like getting destroyed by not going for the hydro pump, so that was awesome. That he actually went for the stealth frost and then went for the ice shard, which taunted me a little bit because I could actually went for the rapid spin that turn. I didn't actually think that he would take that chance with the rapid spin anyway. But he goes for the thunderous, goes for the vault switch. I'm just gonna go out and use ice beam, baby. I thought he was gonna go for the agility, got a free agility on the switch or something like that. I go for the ice beam and score a freeze on this gelatin, which is awesome. Now play close attention. You're gonna see something. Completely amazing. Watch this. I'm gonna give him a confuse ray, making his ass dizzy, confused, and now he's gonna have a probability of being able to smack himself while he's frozen. But it doesn't happen actually because he goes for the skull, breaks through the ice, and then it scores a critical hit on top of that. Whenever a user uses a move that is a sure shot thought of the ice, like say like flare blitz and or skull, and they're confused, they actually have a chance of smacking themselves while they're frozen that's fucking awesome are you kidding me anyway i'm gonna go for the stone edge he's gonna be still confused smack himself initially but afterwards go for the skull and score another critical hit no <laughs> Tyranitar, what are you doing, buddy? Like, this guy is confused. He's smacking himself, man. Hitting himself against walls and shit. You can't hit a target like that. Are you kidding me? Is this real? That's like that's like missing a fucking stone edge on a sleeping Pokemon. Like, how do you do that? Anyway, Jellison's able to take out the Tyranitar, which is much to my disarray, because now I'm going to be forced to bring in my Solomance, go for the Dragon Claw, risk um, this guy having, like, an Ice Beam or something like that, and then in comes the Thunderous. So, like, he's like, yo, I'm chill. I'm more wavy. Now I'm Choice Scarf too, buddy. I go faster than you. Not, nah, baby. Who said I was Choice Scarf? I got the Yashi Berry. And I'm sponging them heads for 
getting back to the Dragon Claw. What do you know about that, son? I'm going to survive, get my Moxie Boost. Awesome, awesome. And afterwards, Moody Pons is going to draw a nice little cover for me in my coffin because I'm going to bite the dust. So anyway, in comes my Noxima, my last Pokemon, I believe. He's going to stay focused, hit this clown with a focus blast. And afterwards, in comes his last Pokemon, Dragonite. Yo, hit this clown in the head. The head is the weakest part, baby. You know what time it is, son. Alkazam, look that shit up in the sky. Slam his ass face down. Critical hit. You know what it is. What you doing?